Did it matter where you bought your new muscle car? Well, in this case, absolutely. Factory-built 1973 Chevrolet Camaros were pretty dismal when it came to power. See the couple on the front cover of the brochure? You know why they're not smiling? Because their 175 horsepower 350 sucks, that's why. But Nikki Chevrolet was out to fix all that. While some dealers were more interested in a hands-off approach to selling cars, meaning they'd only offer whatever the manufacturers built. Others enjoyed building their own additions with options not available from the manufacturers. Nikki Chevrolet in Chicago was one that built and sold cars far more powerful than what was offered by Chevrolet. If you lived in Chicago, Nikki Chevrolet was the place to go for high-performance bow-tie machinery. And this 1973 Nikki Stage 3 454 Camaro is just loaded with high-performance parts that were installed by the Nikki team. And today, it's just waiting to take on all challengers on the street. It all starts with a Chevrolet LS6 454 V8 engine rated at 450 horsepower. The LS6 was not available in the second generation Camaro, and especially not in a 1973 model. But that didn't stop our friends at Nikki from bringing cars to life with one of the baddest big blocks Chevy ever made. Numerous performance parts were added, like a Holley carburetor on top of an aluminum intake manifold, a hotter cam, ignition, and exhaust headers. It was hooked to a Muncie four-speed manual transmission with a heavy-duty clutch, and a 12-bolt rear end took the twist and turned it into forward motion with the help of some bolt-on traction bars to keep the rocket wheels and sticky tires from hopping all over the track. It's pretty cool you could go to a local Chevrolet dealer in Chicago and come home with a Camaro that was ready to race. There's documentation of the first owner racing it to a 1052 at 129 mile per hour in the quarter mile back in the day. It even won a championship and held a 1974 world record in the eighth mile, clicking off an 812 ET on June 23rd of 1974. And what's even more fun is that this is the only known example of a 1973 Nikki Stage 3 Camaro of its kind. Sure, power levels were dropping by 1973, but thanks to dealers like Nikki, you could still get high performance parts and cars to keep the low compression, emissions compliant, no fun police away. The Nikki Stage 3 Camaro is still wearing nearly all of its original sheet metal, save for part of a quarter panel that was repaired. The hood is reminiscent of the L88 Corvette hood. But this is not a Z28 split bumper, fancy bodied car with spoilers and stripes and stuff. It was repainted at some point, but in the original Midnight Green, a very 1970s color, especially when contrasted with the neutral tan vinyl interior. Midnight Green is also a good, dark street racing color. Most race cars lack interior features to save weight, but this Nikki Camaro boasts an interesting upgrade in the form of an 8-track stereo tape player touted as the same used in Lear jets of the time. Well, you gotta have tunes if you're gonna cruise, right? Other than that, it's got high back bucket seats and some modern gauges were installed, indicating that this car still sees some occasional track action. We had fun with it for sure.
The Brothers Collection is home to a wide variety of dealer-built supercars, and we hope you've enjoyed your time checking out this 1973 Nikki Stage 3 car. Keeping tabs on us is easy if you hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time with another great car from the Brothers Collection on Muscle Car of the Week.